All right, so one of the things that we do see in The Mandalorian... This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. ...is the reemergence of the Darksaber. Mm -hmm. And that's a really interesting idea because of what we were talking about with Din Djarin being rescued by Death Watch and the connection with Death Watch and the Darksaber. And now we have Moff Gideon with it. Samuel Hutt, do you... You know, think that the Mandalorian, that Din Djarin is the true heir of the Darksaber at some point. Well, I mean, you should probably explain where, where this idea comes from. Um, there's the, so the Darksaber was created by Cla- uh, Clan Vizsla and is passed down through that clan so far. Um, and we eventually learned that Death Watch is Clan Vizsla or is a part of that clan. And then again, later on, we see that. Uh, Din Djarin was rescued by the Death Watch. And so the theory is that since he was he was eventually at one point part of Clan Vizsla and therefore he should rightfully have the Darksaber. Um, personally, do I think this is the case? No. Um, I think we don't know that he was ever really assimilated into the Clan Vizsla thing um, and or if he was really blood related to anyone in there. So I think that it's not necessarily Din Djarin. Is it probably Moth? Is it Moth Gideon? Probably not. Um, but it maybe it'll be Sabine again if she comes back to the series. It's one of the rumors and stuff. Yeah. Um, I personally don't think that Din Djarin will have it. So, BB Nate, what do you think about this idea of Din Djarin and the dark saber and him being the heir? I mean, it's an interesting concept, but I don't think that he is going to be like the true heir. It just doesn't seem likely because you have to win it in combat or it has to be handed to you and all that stuff so do i think that he's gonna try to fight moff gideon to the death i mean it'd be cool but will it happen most likely because that's what they set up the end of season one for so i'm just thinking it's going to be really cool to see the dark saber in season two that's just really going to be awesome i have spoken yeah in that episode of gallery uh disney gallery the mandalorian when they were actually showing the the uh, physical dark saber that didn't they cr- he break like five props of that before it? yeah i don't know i don't what know but, i mean they only use it for like four seconds I right think, in the entire series but um but the, they're holding it and it's kind of sh- it's kind of a it's a practical effect kind of going back to the original uh lightsabers in or the original star wars yeah they were practical um sabers that they were using to with you know this the spinning, reflective material yeah. and things like that on it um could, are we? Are they? Are they setting up what you were talking about, BB Nate? Do you guys believe that the story is really going towards Din Djarin battling Moff Gideon, Din Djarin defeating Moff Gideon, therefore earning control of the dark saber, becoming the Mandalore? This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. Not just the Mandalorian in the title mm-hmm. of with this and whatever goes from that. I mean, do you? Would you like to see that? And do you think that that's where it's going? Yeah, I think it, it's inevitable. Why else would they throw that? Um, in the end of the season. Excuse me. Um, and I think, you know, you said he's the Mandalore. I think it's funny that, or, or it's an interesting idea that the series is called the Mandalorian. Why would he be called the Mandalorian? I mean, there's a ton of other Mandalorians still around. I mean, we saw his clan. Why is he the Mandalorian? Maybe the, you know, the rest of the series is him becoming the Mandalorian, like getting this reputation. And maybe that is through uh, winning the Darksaber. Yeah, and in the early episodes, this, I mean, every episode, it's the the child, the client, the sin, mm-hmm. uh, you know that that type of thing. They're like they're like using that as a as a moniker for something very specific. There's lots mm-hmm. of children, but then there's the child. the child. There's lots of clients that the Mandalorian serves um, with this, but then there's the client, right? Um, with it, and so yeah. then does there's lots of Mandalorian, mm-hmm. uh, but is there only one Mandalore that mm-hmm. we get to see uh, in all of that? That's a, a really curious uh, idea. I can't wait to see how that plays out. Thank you.